Coverage continues right now at Union Station in New Haven. That's where police stepped up their presence after that shooting in Brooklyn within minutes. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon is live for us tonight after talking with travelers who were in the city earlier when this happened. Christian, what are they saying tonight? Yeah, luckily, everyone we met here tonight at Union Station is safe. They say they were not in Brooklyn at the time, but they were just a couple of subway stops away from where this was all happening. It did make them feel a little bit better that they had an increase of police both in New York and here in Connecticut. Chaos at a Brooklyn subway station, just about 15 minutes away from the Lower East Side of Manhattan, where Berlin resident Paul Gazzo was working. I just happened to get off the subway like 30 minutes after it happened, so... It was just, uh, it was crazy. Uh, a bunch of people texting me, telling me, don't, uh, don't go on the subway home, try to Uber home. Luckily, he's safe, and so are his friends and family living in Brooklyn. Tonight, he's thankful police were everywhere on his way back home. A similar feeling of relief for Donica Nash, who was visiting the city for the day. It seemed really safe. We felt, you know, like we were um, safe and protected. We saw a lot of police officers around. State police say they are continuing to monitor the situation in New York and stress there's no specific threat to Connecticut. But to be proactive, they added resources to train stations in New Hampshire. Haven, Bridgeport, and Stanford. They're going to be present. They're going to be visible at those three train stations for reasons I think you understand. And late tonight, Governor Ned Lamont added in a tweet, our hearts go out to those injured in the horrific shooting at the Brooklyn subway station this morning. As New York City Mayor points out, there are more guns in America than people in America today. There are too many illegal guns and untraceable ghost guns. Stop the madness now. This comes as New York City officials found a 9mm handgun with extended magazines at the scene. Officials now wanting to see who was the seller and initial owner. I think it'll tell people like, hey, we need to be a little bit more aware. You see people on the subways with their headphones just completely unaware. Um, I think that'll kind of decrease a little bit, but yeah, definitely my awareness will be up too. And officials say there's no identified threat to our state, but police do say they are staying on top of the situation. In New Haven tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Christian, thank you very much.